Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car and we've got a great video for you guys today. Now we have been known to spray cars using components and pigments that were not necessarily made for painting cars like mood ring pigment and Kool-Aid powder and Musso black and sometimes those experiments go really well and sometimes not so much. Well, we're doing it again today. Today, I got my hands on this. This is a big old bag of cosmetic grade powder. Now what this is supposed to be used for is lipstick and eyeshadow and nail polish. It's not really made to be sprayed on cars, but we're gonna see how it works today. This is Night Rose. It's one of the most popular cosmetic grade pigments that we can source, and it's going on the DYC Mustang right here. Wish us luck, enjoy the video. So here's how we're going to approach this experiment. Now I know that cosmetic grade powders and automotive grade powders are different. But just for the sake of the experiment, I'm just gonna treat them the same. I'm gonna use 75 grams per gallon of this Night Rose powder into glossy Dip Pearl top coat and then spray it right over a black base, see how many coats we need to get full coverage and take it from there. Let's jump right in. All right guys, we are all done with today's project. Now it's interesting, if I saw this car for the very first time and you told me that this car was sprayed with makeup pigment, I would 100% believe you because it looks exactly like makeup to me. Very cool color, impressed with how well the pigment worked. Would I want this on my vehicle? I'm not sure. After you see it, when we go outside, leave a comment below and let me know, would you rock this color on your own vehicle. Now remember, these are makeup cosmetic pigments. They're very different than automotive grade pigments. These are not made or meant to be exposed to the sun and UV for years at a time. Do I think it's a good idea to spray your car with cosmetic pigments? No, I don't. I would not replicate this. We have hundreds of pearls and pigments and colors to choose from that are made for use on cars, so just stick with those. Either way, very fun project. Thank you guys for watching. 
Thank you for subscribing. And if you like the way this one came out, like the video. Oh, and if you want to dip your own car, again, we have tons of colors to choose from. Click here, it'll bring you to our car kits. And all those materials are actually made to be used on cards. It's Fonzie. Let's go outside and check this one out. I'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car. We got a great video for you today. Now we've dipped cars with a lot of different crazy stuff. I don't remember any of it, but... <laughs> we have been known to spray cars using components and pigments that were not necessarily meant for painting cars, like Kool-Aid powder and Musso Black and others that I already forgot. Now we've dipped cars with lots of different stuff that wasn't necessarily meant for dipping or painting cars like Kool-Aid or glow-in-the-dark pigment or Musso Black. Today we're doing... Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car and we've got a great video for you guys today. Now we have been known to spray cars using... It's alright. Somebody <laughs> just died. Not a big deal. Kool-Aid and Musso Black and mood ring pigment and sometimes they go really well and sometimes they don't. Now we're done it. Very impressed with how well the pigment worked. It's a very cool color. Would I want this on my own vehicle? I'm not sure. Leave a comment below right now. Well you can't because you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> 